I can remember the old days, you'd have a car mechanic on TV saying, come to us, we'll give you the best price and the best service. People aren't going to buy that rubbish. People are desensitised to that. You've got to have a, a different gimmick or a different type of angle to attract people. So um, Sean decided to be a little bit politically incorrect and to, to try and create some controversy. So the Rubber Girls were born back in probably about four or five years ago now. We're into Rubber campaign. We always launch the campaigns around at the same time as Australian Open. I featured in the series of Rubber Girl TV ads, which were very controversial. There was a lot of complaints and there was a lot of attention to the ad. I'd have to agree with Laura, it is very controversial, but I think that's the whole point of the ads. Like, no other ads that come out are talked about as much as the ultra tune ones, and that's what sticks in people's minds, and it's always coming up on the band list and um, on the project for just random things that people like to pick up. It's designed to attract the younger market, but it's, it's designed to disrupt and create controversy. I didn't always think it was going to create this sort of controversy in some of the groups that, that were involved with it, but it just did. Uh, it was very successful. Everyone hears about all the complaints, etc., that were made. That particular advertisement was viewed over five million times. We had 144 complaints. So that's to put into perspective. So it's like 0.00002% of the population that complained about it. I feel good about it. Like, you know, I feel like any publicity is good publicity. So if you go under the radar unnoticed, it's like you didn't really do the job. So it's good. It's good. All the complaints actually help us.